Everyone's been doing this wrong. Even if you're already using Oculus Link or Virtual Desktop, there's so much more you can do to make your VR experience better. So let's take a look at the best way to do PC VR on your Quest. Not the easiest, that's Air Link, and not the most polished, that's Virtual Desktop, but the most customizable, compatible, and high quality option, ALVR. Though before we talk about any software, the hardware. First your modest machine, which might have meant something a year ago, but at this point a mid-range GPU is a grand, so I don't know. For me, I've got a Quest 2, a Ryzen 5 3600, and a pseudo Vega 64, a flashed 56. But that's not all. I also bought a second router on eBay for £11. It's got gigabit Ethernet and AC1200 Wi-Fi, which are the only real requirements I have. And this allows for a shorter and simpler route between my Quest and my PC than if it was going to my main router all the way downstairs, which reduces packet loss and latency. Also, something I should have clarified in the last section, you plug your PC and internet connection in via Ethernet on the router, then go to the router's settings, disable 2.4 GHz, set a new name and password for the 5 GHz Wi-Fi, and connect your Quest to that Wi-Fi network. Okay, let's go. Next, the software. Keep in mind that I'm assuming that if you have a Quest and a PC, you already have SideQuest set up, but if not, the link is in the description that has everything you need. Anyway, go to the ALVR download section, also in the description, and install it like any other Windows app. Then go to SideQuest and install ALVR on your Quest. There's ALVR Nightly as well, but we don't want that one. Now go over to Steam, which I assume you already have installed, and download SteamVR. While that's going, you can open ALVR on your Quest by going to your apps, clicking Unknown Sources from the drop down in the top right, and then ALVR. Back on the PC once SteamVR's done, open SteamVR once, then close it, then open ALVR. Then go through all the default prompts doing whatever since we'll be changing it later, but do download VB Cable when it asks you to since this is how we'll stream the Quest microphone. Once VB Cable's done installing, restart the whole PC, open ALVR, and change these settings. Set the refresh rate to 72 for a Quest 1, or 120 on a Quest 2 as long as you've enabled it in the Oculus settings, disable adaptive bitrate, enable H.265 instead of H.264, and set the bitrate to 150. Tick foveated encoding, you can have it on just one by default and you can up it if you need it. Then in audio, enable stream headset microphone and set the input and output to the virtual cable input and output. And then in connection, enable throttled UDP. Then in extras, you may as well enable client dark mode. Except we're not 100% done. I should mention, these foveated encoding settings won't appear for you, at least at the time of this video coming out, since I'm using a version of ALVR that's still in development, but probably more importantly, headset settings. Uh, I just forgot to mention these. Set tracking speed to medium, tracking space to stage, and um, another thing where the settings will be slightly different for me, but yours will still have it, haptics intensity. I suggest turning it out. But once you're done changing settings, just cover the head sensor in your Quest with ALVR open, go over to monitor, and then trust. Then ALVR will restart itself, possibly a few times, and then it should start streaming. And we're pretty much done. Assuming you've got a halfway decent graphics card, and a dedicated router for this, or at least one that's very close by, this should be pretty much perfect. So let's actually give it a try. I'm not going to pretend I've got a green screen, this is just an Xbox One Connect, but let's try some of the Beat Saber songs that are just built in on Expert Plus and see if the potential extra latency from wireless stops me from doing them. I should mention that, that the video feed looks perfect to me. It, it looks like it's 120Hz and it looks full resolution. I absolutely did not even get close to my high score, but the high score was gotten with ALVR, so it's just how I'm playing now. Uh, let, let's do one more song. Let's actually also take advantage of the fact that we're wireless and do a 360 one. And it's not like you couldn't do this on just the Quest version of Beat Saber, but this version of Beat Saber, the PC version, can have 
mods and better graphics. And like, if, if you're a streamer, you could have your chat up or whatever. And so I think that's pretty much it. You can see I'm playing actually one of the first full room scale VR games that, that came out, uh, the, the lab. And it works just fine on a Quest 2. Basically everything has just worked and anything that doesn't can be made to work fairly easily. So I think that's where I'm going to leave it. Video looks good. It's low latency for me, uh, like 40 milliseconds of latency. Basically everything on Steam VR is going to work just fine and anything that doesn't work immediately can be made to work uh it's open source so if you care about making sure it's safe you can do that there's a discord server basically everything just works and it works really well so hopefully you enjoyed maybe you're gonna say up and bye